have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. He's an architect experienced in steel structures. Now Richard Gage is touring the country with a controversial message about September 11. Almost every architect and engineer we show this information to agrees with us that these are controlled demolitions. If we can get them to look at the information, because obviously the implications of a controlled demolition are dark for our country. An inside job? How dare you? And while we're on the subject, new rule crazy people who still think the government brought down the Twin Towers in a controlled explosion have to stop pretending that I'm the one who's being naive. Anybody who thinks that 9-11 was carried out by the government isn't a truther, they're idiots. This is the kind of group that a Timothy McVeigh would come from. I didn't see it on TV. Watch this I DVD. didn't see it live. Don't watch watch this DVD and listen to the eyewitness testimony I, about explosions going on. What you're saying to me? Well, it's almost unbelievable if you think about one third of the population believes the federal government, presumably thousands or many hundreds of people in the government, colluded somehow to kill American, innocent American citizens for some abstract reason. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Larry, Larry Silverstein. Is this man for real? <laughs> any evidence of this story, it would be all over the place. It would be the story of the century. It's no place. Well, unfortunately, they print it once, and then they just forget well, about why? it. But the why would you forget uh, about President Bush killing 3,000 Americans? Why would anybody forget about that? Why? Can you actually imagine that our government was capable of successfully pulling off 9-11 and then keeping it off of the front page of the New York Times? No. How big a lunatic do you have to be to watch two giant airliners packed with jet fuel slam into buildings on live TV, igniting a massive inferno that burned for two hours, and then think, well, if you believe that was the cause. Why is it that when you ask any question about 9-11, you're immediately attacked? I'm not attacking you. Uh, you're not, but no, I'm speaking in general. I'm not saying you guys, but I've watched people get attacked. People have their credibility attacked. My problem is I look at it and I go, how can two planes knock down three buildings? Pretty easy. It's a big, it's a, those are 757, 747. But there were three buildings that went down. Tyranny is enveloping the globe. If any terrorism comes, it's from this government. And if there was an outside threat like a bin Laden, who was a known CIA asset in the 80s, running the Mujahideen War, and whose family builds all the military bases over in Saudi Arabia right now, and sits on the board of Iridium Satellite, he's the boogeyman they need in this Orwellian phony system. The danger to our country is growing. Weapons of mass Iraq's destruction. Weapons of mass a destruction. A clear threat to the United States. And there's dozens of ballistic, biological and chemical agents to kill millions of people. At this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. Major combat operations in Iraq have ended, and now our coalition is engaged in securing and reconstructing that country. Stop asking me to raise this ridiculous topic on the show and start asking your doctor if Paxil is right for you. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves. We have figured it out. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American Gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American Gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. I can hear you. <laughs> Yes.
Sure.